Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to E-Dogs Reviews. Today we are very lucky to review the Transformers Legacy Voyager Class Armada Universe Starscream. Here he is, there is the box. As you can see, he's already in this alt mode in this box. We have the Karatomi at the top, we have the generation symbol there and the word Transformers there. And on this side of the box, uh, we have Megatron, Drag Strip, Iguanas, Thundercracker and Kickback. And then we have this side of the box where we have uh, a modern universe Starscream at the top. Robot mode up there. Uh, alternate mode down here takes 18 steps to transform it. And then on this side we have uh, him looking off to his left I want to say. And then we have him over here looking to his right I'm guessing. Or is that his right or that his left? Um, anyway, and then we have Transformers Legacy there, and then we have barcodes and things and stuff like that. And here is the figure. Now, before we get into it, let's just do a brief history on the, uh, this piece real quick. Uh, Transformers Armada first aired on August 23rd, 2002, and their final episode aired in September 12th, 2003, there are 59 episodes. IMDb gives it a score out of 6 out of 9, 6.9 I should say, out of 10, and a 92% rating overall. Now, if you happen to be in Japan, this series, Amada, was known as Superlink, and Starscream's name originally was Nightscream. Now, if you happen to be searching for, let's say, Superlink, most of the time, majority of the time, I would say, you're going to run into Energon, which is a totally different story. So, let's get that out of the way. Now, in the show, there were two gimmicks in, in the serial. So, here is the figure. It looks very nice. Now, if you come back... If you go back to the days when they first started making this, this figure was huge. It was very big. In fact, I think there was two versions of them that they made. But this is what the figure looks like from the front. Looks just like what we had back then. Here is his face. Let me get his face in there. Looks just like what we had back then. Let me bring in the color. Right, so this is what he looks from the side. That's what it looks like from the back. Here it is from the other side, and there it is from the front. Now, if you have effects parts, let me just do this right now. These are Jetfire's effects parts. I pretty much use them in every uh, movie. I mean, every video that I make, and you can just plug these in. His jetpack kind of a deal. Oh, excuse me. And you can kind of have him either do an Iron Man type of thing where his head is up like that. And the jets are like so. Point the feet down maybe. And you can kind of have him flying like this kind of a deal. That's if you want. Now these are going to come in later, I believe. But yeah. The first gimmick of Amada was the story was based on finding these minicons. And if you found the minicon and he agreed to be your partner, let's say, uh, he would attach to some part of your body. Some would have it on their forearm, some would have it on their leg, you know, anywhere. And what that would do, it would unlock uh like a special feature or a special weapon um so in this case if he were if we were to have um a mini con it would be probably it would probably plug in here because i don't see anything back here other than the wings to plug it into so let's say you had it it'll plug in here and what would happen is this would pop up 
like so and this would rotate down and that will be like his super uh secret weapon kind of a deal and again you can plug these back in if you want and you can kind of have that kind of a deal going on that's if you want So fold these back and you can fold this back so let's talk about weapons shall we right so first weapon is his energon sword now the gimmick here on the original was that this would flip uh to to form one portion of the wing and then you would connect it something like this and you know it would stay together so that was another weapon that he had uh the prototype of this figure this weapon is actually red matter of fact i think the only time it's not red is the uh is the original because it had the the red stripe and the the gray field with the with the symbol on it but this is a secondary weapon or i should say his main weapon tell you honestly and you can just simply plug this in in his hand doesn't matter what hand you can do whatever you want now you can store this on his wing if you want to have it so you can plug it like that if you want to you can have it there just for storage doesn't matter which way you put it so let me see let me flip it around put it down this so you can have it look like that whatever whatever you like whatever you like the second weapon he comes with is this this is known as the star saber in the show star saber is a combined team known as the minicon air defense there are three characters the first being runaway or runway who is a boeing sonic cruiser second character his name is Jetstorm who was a supersonic Concorde. And last but not least, Sonar was a venture concept space shuttle. And what they will do is they will go from being, let's say a Minicon to the vehicle mode, to a combined mode, which will be the sword. And the sword will be the most powerful weapon in that particular universe. So you can have that. Pretty much this kind of replaced the matrix of leadership if you will and uh very powerful weapon in the show and they had I, I believe megatron was the first person to actually get a hold of it in the series so you have that the only thing i don't like is this tail being outward like that uh that's not really sword like maybe you want to turn that on the inside maybe i don't know this is your figure you can do what you want so let's take this out we're gonna do a comparison you know we're gonna do a comparison with i think i know who's going i think i know who's gonna be in this video right now so we have the earth rise version of starscream this is more g1 like starscream now this figure is slightly bigger than this figure and th this guy they're both voyagers and this guy is slightly smaller than him it may not look it but he's slightly smaller than him so we're gonna look it from the side one more time he's a tad more thicker if we will kind of sorta and then we have the back And then we have this side. Now, just in case you're wondering, we can use Star Screen's No Rays on this figure. So you can put these on the side. 
doesn't fit in tight, but it's, it's tight enough. And uh, you can kind of have that going for you. Trust me, these will come back during the alt mode of the video. But you can do it. As you can see. All right. All right. So let's get into articulation. So what we're going to start with is the head. And you can see his yellow eyes there. He got his off-white face, broken up by the black helmet, and, it can, and it's on a bowl joint that's connected to this table or platform, whatever you want to call it. And you can totally go all the way around with that. Now the wings can be folded back if you so desire. You can go all the way back if you want. You can do it at an angle. If you want to do it that way, let me get that in focus. And you can turn it, but that's for the uh, that's for the transformation. So the arm can go all the way back to it hits the the wing. But if you want to if you want to go all the way around, you have to fold that wing all the way back. Bring that out. It can go all the way up like so. Uh, bicep swivel. There is no rotation. Is there a rotation? No, there's no rotation at the wrist. Right? We have more than 90 degrees on the elbow, but that's due to the transformation. And same thing on the other arm. It will not go any further than the wing. If you have it open like that, okay. Uh, torso, torso, you're gonna get this much, and that is because you have the whole cockpit blocking its way. Leg can go up this much, and we can bring it down on the knee. That's a very high knee, if I do say so myself. And it has a swivel at the lower portion of the thigh. And then we can go all the way up back on the leg. About this much. That's about it. Now, if you want to move these out of the way before you do that, you so can. And it will go all the way back to there. Uh, there's a little bit of wiggle room on the feet for wider stances, and I think that is about it for that. Now, there's 18 steps, and it's very slick. The transformation is very slick. There is one tiny, tiny, tiny nick pick about uh, clearance of shoes. And the leg transformation took me a little while uh, to get used to on top of that. So we're going to start the transformations. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start with the wings. So we're going to fit the wings up. And these kind of sort of like tab together type of thing. Make sure this is down. Flip the wing up. Kind of tab these two together. Now if you want, we can start with these arms. And they have panels on these arms. Normally, times you don't, we don't get panels. You open up the panel, you take the hand, flip it in. There you go. Same thing on the other side. Open up this panel. Flip down the hand. Raise the panel. Right. Next, we want to bring it back into this port right so there's a little peg there there's a there's a section where it goes so you just bring it back fill that in right and as you do so you can bring up the arm right so you have to keep all of this from not moving
like that. So that's gonna tab in. We're gonna try one more time to see if I can do it on camera. So we're gonna bring this up. All right, so right, that's gonna plug in and that's gonna plug in like that. So the upper side is already done. So we're gonna bring up the cockpit, right? And that's gonna clip into place. Now there is two slots here. I always thought that these uh, fins on the side of the cockpit fit in there. They do not fit in there. Uh, the fins actually go on the side if you want to put them there. It's your choice. Uh, let me see. All right, so we're going to bring up the backpack like so. And we're going to concentrate on the bottom part. So we're going to turn this around like that. These pins should be facing you. Uh, yes, because, no, actually, let's double back. Let's go and stay right here. And we're going to, we're going to do this. This is how it's done, right? We're going to flip them inside like so, like this, because these holes have to be pointing down to the ground. Take the heel spur, flip those in, heel spur, and then take the foot, bring this back. The other side, bring this back. Right? We have these right here that we have to mess with, these little side panels. And there's nothing to like, grip onto to get these out. So you have to use a weapon to pop these out like that. Now this part was confusing to me. It was very confusing to me, but pretty much what they want you to do is they want you to do this, right? And same thing on the other side. Just bring these up like this. Let's stop right, yeah, let's, let's get that out of the way. Let's stop right there. Now in order to do this, we have to bring down this piece right here. We have to bring down the lower section and we might have to move the arm, might. Let's see what happens. So we have to get in here and we have to sneak this foot into this slot, right? So it should be something like that, right? Same thing with the other foot. We have to kind of sneak it in there and like that, right? So that one in well, we gotta do some adjustments here, kind of get this going. And then we're gonna bring this up and we have to uh, bring these two pieces together. This piece and this piece have to come together like that. Put these, bring these together, smush these together like so. Make sure everything's all good. And there you have it. You have him in his jet mode. It's kind of weird not seeing a tail section, but this is what he is. This is what he turns into. So, very slick. This is very slick. Now the head, you have to push the head down. Forgot about that. So that's what it looks like from the front. And that's what it looks like from the other side. Here it is from the back. Now normally this doesn't come out. All right, so let's bring in those effects parts one more time. Like that. Like that. Very nice. Now, as for the weapons, you can do so. You can put this uh, star saber in the wing. 
like that. Doesn't matter what side it is. And you can put his Energon sword on the other side. And you can have that look if you want. Or you can steal the other star the other weapon from Star Screen. And you can put it either here or here. Let's try can we put it here? Let's see what that looks like. So you can have Star Screen's weapons right there, kind of thing. That doesn't look too bad. No, if you can find an extra pair, I'll probably put it there. Or you can put it on the arm. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. There it is on the arm. I think the wings look better. But you could do whatever you want with your figure. Now, let's do a comparison. Uh, let's put that down. Let's bring in Thundercracker. I don't have a dirge to, uh, to display right now because it's in storage and I'm not opening that box currently. So you have these two. And let me show you the difference. So they're touching the table. The left is a Voyager. Earthrise on the right is a Voyager. Much smaller. Uh, wings, you can kind of tell. All right, let me see if I can throw this on here. Does that look right? It's kind of hard to do this, but yeah, you can kind of see slightly, this is just a tad wider then um here it is on the back let's see what we can do let's see if we can do this kind of a thing or this kind of a thing yep. so we're going to go back into the uh robot mode Unplug this, and we just want to undo these two things. Now, before I go any further, this piece is supposed to tab in here, and it really doesn't. But nevertheless, you have these two pieces that combine together that they're supposed to help it, right? We undo this, and we need to worm these legs out. Bring these down, bring these down. Uh, take this piece right here, close that up. Take that piece right there, close that up. And you just simply just bring up this whole section and that's going to raise his head back up in place. Now I want to throw something out there. There's this piece right here I'm kind of curious about. And this piece pushes down like this. I'm not exactly sure it's what, what its function is supposed to be. But it goes down like this. Like that. This piece comes out. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Uh, but nevertheless bring this up all right so we're gonna push this back out all right all right and there's a tab here and it's gonna go into a slot there
untap the arms from the wings, bring those down like so, bring these down like so. Bring up in this panel. Bring up it. Right, so we're gonna bring this whole piece back, his backpack. And there's two tabs and there's two slots in here. Yet we really can't see it, but it ever is. Bring that down. Take these fins, bring it down like so. And we're going to give him his normal weapons. Bring that in his hands. Where's the other one? Bring that in his hands. In your hand. Get in your hand. Okay. There you go. It would have been cool they they gave it like a red strip going down this way or on both sides just to throw it in there just a little, little just a little something extra and there you go he is back in his robot mode Let's get his counterpart buddy back into the video so we can close out. I do believe this is our first a modern character in the series in Legacy. Could be wrong. But there you go. This has been a review on the Transformers Legacy Voyager class Amada Universe Starscream. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there is one more piece before we start going back to uh, Beast Wars. So we're gonna plug these back in. His arms, I don't wanna lose them. Let me show you what's coming up next. So we're going to be doing Convert Covert Ravage from the series. And he's going to go up against the Takara exclusive X9 Ravage. In the next video so please stay tuned for that if you're not subscribed please subscribe if you like the video please give it a like if you have any questions put them down below if you haven't seen shit, suggestions also put those down below we have four where four more weeks before christmas or something like that so i'm gonna try to do as many as as i can i'm only missing two figures so to speak um scourge which is in that uh, Velocitron series. And no, actually, matter of fact, I'm missing three three figures Scourge, um, Cosmos, and there's another person I can't think of. I'm kind of blinking out. But yeah, it's three of those. So, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.